Um, I think that the most interesting technology is technology that, that has a social aspect. And there's a kind of Darwinian selector for technology that makes people behave sociably because um, uh, it tends to be more uh, commercially viable and also tends to attract more people who uh, improve on it or, or, or add to it. So it becomes the kernel of more interactions. I think that like um, social interaction is, uh, is, is way more valuable than practically any other commodity we can create. Like, uh, um, compared to say music or films, social interaction is like way off the scale. Like if I said to you, I'm sending you to a desert island, you can either take all your friends with you or all your music, and you chose all your music, we'd call you a sociopath, right? So I think that where you have technology that enables people to have conversations, it attracts like money for investment, it also attracts hackers who improve it, and you just get more of it. Whereas when you have technology that's just like kind of invisible and plumbing, it may be useful and it may be important, but um, it, doesn't, it doesn't draw that same group of people and it doesn't draw that same energy. And as a result, it doesn't spread as far and it doesn't do as much. So that's what makes Robo Exotica so special. 